And I'm Erica Sargent. We begin with what's become an all too common story in Chicago, a carjacking. Tonight a twist. The victim got his car back shortly after thieves took it. CBS 2's Charlie DeMar explains how. And I reached in to grab him and then he was taller and bigger than me, so probably not the brightest move, but. Darren Riboletti drives for Lyft. He's been doing it for about a month and around 1.30 this morning. And this guy bumps me very gently. Riboletti hit from behind as he dropped passengers off near 31st and Prairie. He was real nice and he says, you know, I'll pay you for any damage. And then he kind of got around me and went real fast, got in the car and then sat down in the car. It was a bump and run. Riboletti's brand new Jeep gone. He kicked me and kicked me out of the way. There's no consequences. These kids know they're not going to really get in that much trouble. But with the help of uh, GPS tracking, we can also go to location. So this is what we did. Riboletti, along with police, traced the car to 47th and South King Drive, found dumped and unoccupied. The criminals who think they're smart, you're not so smart because <laughs> most cars got this now. Police spent hours dusting for fingerprints and going through the car, but Riboletti got his Jeep back. I'm going to continue to go into those neighborhoods because people need us to be there. So this isn't going to stop you? This isn't going to stop me, no. And no arrests have been made, and the man who took the car got away with Rebeletti's checks, keys, and other personal belongings. Lyft telling us tonight that they have reached out to the driver, Erica, offering any support. So they got away with a lot of his items, but they left some key valuable ones behind. What's that about? This was the most surprising part. They left an iPad and a phone just in plain sight in the car, possibly thinking that a GPS could track it back to them. Mm, okay, Charlie, thank you.